Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to loop music using Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import the following libraries here. These will be down in the description below so you can copy and paste them. Now let's look at the main method. So we have got string file path equals monkey.wav. This is going to be the file that we want to play. This is going to work only for WAV files, by the way, just a heads up. Then we're going to call a function called loop music, and we're going to pass in our file path. We'll go into this in a moment. Then we're going to do jlchampaign.show message dialog null, press OK to stop playing. Basically, this is going to pop up to stop the program from closing while we loop our music. When we press OK, the program's going to stop, and then the music's going to stop. So, before we make our function, in NetBeans, you can right click on your project, then go to properties, then go to sources, and this is going to be the location of your Java project. I have put my WAV file in here. You can put it wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. Since mine is in the Java project folder, I can just reference the file name. But if you were to put it in the target folder for whatever reason, you'd have to do target slash monkey.wav, as opposed to monkey.wav. So it's public static void loop music string location. We're not going to return any values, loop music is the name, string location is going to be the file that we want to play. Firstly, do a try catch statement. So try catch exception e, system.printline e. So we're going to try some code, if something goes wrong, we execute what's in the catch, otherwise we just carry on like normal, and we're going to print out the error message because we want to know what's going on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do file music path equals new file location. We're going to be making a file object so we can interact with the music file. So we pass in the file path of where that file is and then we can use that to make a file object. After that we are going to then do an if statement. If music path dot exists else system dot print line can't find file. We're going to check if this file exists. If it does exist Great, we can then play the music, but if it doesn't, we can just print out can't find file. Next, we're going to do audio input stream, audio input equals audio system dot get audio input stream music path. We're going to be creating an audio input stream object. We're going to call it audio input, and we need to pass in our music path file into it. And then we're going to do clip clip equals audio system dot get clip. We're going to be making a clip. This is what we're going to actually be playing. So the audio input stream is going to feed that audio into our clip. And then we're literally going to do clip.open audio input. So we're opening up the clip and we're going to be putting our audio input into it. The next two lines of code are clip.loop, clip.loop continuously, and clip.start. So this is going to be telling our clip we need to loop the music forever. And clip.start is telling the clip to start playing. Also, just if you are curious, if you don't want to loop continuously, let's say you wanted to play the clip three times, you would actually put clip.loop2. Basically, we can specify how many times we want this loop to play. If you wanted to play it twice, you put in a, a 1. If you want to play it three times, you put in a 2. Basically, you might be thinking, but Max, 2 and 3 are different. If I want to loop twice, surely I put in a 2. Well, you don't. Basically, when we tell the clip to loop, the first time it plays isn't counted as part of that loop. Which might be a bit weird, but that's how it works. But we are going to go and do continuously, because we want to play it forever. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're going to save our work and hit play. You have shown me monkey. Monkey. Mm. Monkey. You have shown me monkey. Monkey. Monkey, you have shown me monkey, monkey, mm. monkey, you have shown me monkey. And I think that's enough of the monkey. So, a little game for you to play. Take a shot every time you hear monkey in this tutorial. Don't actually do that, you might be on the floor passed out. But, thank you for watching this quick tutorial, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching.